This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com. Hi, welcome to Chair Yoga for Seniors. Obviously for your class today, you will need a chair as your prop. You will not need any other props. You do want to make sure that your chair is sturdy and also that it won't slip. So you notice I have mine on a yoga mat since the floor is a wooden floor. Uh, if it's on carpet, that will work fine too. I like chairs that have a back on them so you can use it for different poses that we're going to be doing and obviously a comfortable height for you. So for example, this chair is a pretty comfortable height for me. And when I scoot forward on the chair, as we will be doing, you can have your feet relatively flat on the floor or the carpet. So start by just sitting back comfortably in your chair. Again, if your chair has a back on it, that's nice because you can sit up nice and tall. As you see, I am doing with my spine nice and long, shoulders relaxed. If you'd like to close your eyes for this first part for a moment as I talk to you, that's fine. Just sitting back in the chair. Because breathing is such a huge part of yoga and so important. We're going to start with just simple breathing exercise, just basically paying attention to the breath. Again, if you'd like to close your eyes for this part, you may. Muscles of the face relaxed, shoulders relaxed down away from the ears, sitting up tall, feeling your posture. Just noticing how your body feels today. That's another huge part of yoga is just this awareness of yourself and your body and your mind and your thoughts and your breath. Taking deep breaths, you'll feel your ribs expand as you inhale, and you'll feel everything soften and sink and relax as you exhale. So again, you can sit back in the chair a little bit. Just let the chair support you as you sit up tall. A nice mixture of effort and ease. So enough effort that it takes to sit up tall, of course, but also enough ease where you feel like you're sinking down and connected to the chair. Last few deep breaths here. Just be aware of your inhale and your exhale. Noticing those little pauses between the breaths. Letting all those other thoughts just slip away for now. So just putting most of your attention on your breath and your posture and how you're feeling. So for our first actual yoga posture today, we're going to scoot forward on the chair just enough so our feet can be a little more anchored. I've got about half of my back of my leg on the chair. And reaching back, in this chair it's perfect. I can catch a hold of the bottom edge of the back of the seat and lift the chest forward and up. I don't need to lean too far forward, just enough to open the chest a little bit to use this resistance of me holding on to the chair and then the chest lifting forward and out. Shoulders back and down. So I want my hands a little lower versus a little higher. I don't want my shoulders scrunched upwards. Take a few deep breaths right into this area around the chest. Just feeling that breath, cultivating that breath that we started with, just nice deep inhales, nice long exhales. If possible, breathing in and out through the nose, but if needed, breathing in and out through the mouth. Just taking time to open up the chest, open up the ribs. Letting the tailbone still drop down so you're not scrunching that low back, but dropping the tail down, just chest lifting. And then sitting back just a little bit so you're anchored fully on the chair, taking those hands away. Still want to be a little bit moved forward on the chair for our next moves, which are going to be our seated side bends. So always wanting to feel connected and anchored in the chair so we feel comfortable and safe. I'm going to take my right arm up first and reach. Shoulders dropping down, shoulder blades dropping down, but fingers reaching up. The other hand is here just to help me stay on the chair and tilting over. So this does not need to be a huge bend, just enough to feel these ribs opening, feel the underarm opening, feel a little bit of the side of the neck opening. Always wanting to breathe right into your movement. 
So instead of holding the breath, we breathe into the movement, deep inhale, deep exhale, lifting up and over, kind of like the water comes up and out of a fountain. To come back to center, really drawing in with the core, really using those oblique muscles right over here and taking it back to center and then switching sides. So I anchor by taking my hand on the chair and other arm reaches up, shoulder down, shoulder blade down. So I have a little space around the neck. Nice deep breaths as I move into the posture. I don't need to let my head flop over to the side, just a little tilt, just to open up the neck a little bit as well. Breathing into it. So you just lean over just enough to feel this opening through the side. Doesn't have to be a huge side bend. You'll feel it. You'll know exactly where the right spot is, just depending on how much stretch you feel. And to bring it back to center, we reach that hand up. We engage that core. We use those obliques. Coming back to center, putting hands on legs and just pausing and finding those even steady breaths again. Next one is seated twist. We always want our spine nice and long for our twist. So again, we're gonna really work at that posture. Twisting to the side, I like to take my right hand on my left thigh and either hand on the lower part of the seat or even better, if you can catch a hold of the back of the seat, you'll, get, you'll be able to get a little deeper twist. My neck is long too, so I just turn the head, turn my gaze, turn my focus. Anchoring my sitting bones, so even though we're trying to sit up tall, we're pushing the sitting bones down like we're plugging into the chair. And breathe as you do this pose. Feeling all of this opening, all of this opening and bringing it back into center gently, taking a few deep breaths before we twist to the other side. So again, sitting up super tall. So we want that spine nice and long so we don't do any injury as we twist. Turning to the other side, left hand on right thigh, twisting, or if you think you can catch a hold and give the chair a little bit of a hug over here, you can turn. Notice how my neck stays really long and just turning. Breathing into the twist so we don't need to hold our breath. We're just going to turn and twist and then come back to center. Hands right on the thighs and just taking a few deep breaths. Always feeling ourselves come back to center. Feel how connected you are. Feel how grounded and centered and balanced you are in, in this natural seated position. This one's for building strength in the legs. So we're going to extend one leg out as high as we can. We're gonna take that foot up as high as we can. Notice how I'm working that quad there, just holding the leg for as long as you can. And I'm still trying to sit up tall, so the tendency would be to scrunch back here. I'm gonna sit up as tall as possible. Notice that if I am kind of sinking down back here, I can get out of the posture, scoot back, and then I'll have more support for the low back, so that's an option too. And then of course we do the other side. Sitting up tall, creating lots of space, beautiful posture, working that thigh. And then placing that foot back down. This next one is an optional move, but a really great strengthener. Again, we need to scoot forward, still on the chair, but feet need to be fully anchored. I'm gonna scoot my feet in a little bit, but make sure my heels are down. And pressing with the hands, I'm gonna come off the seat and see if I can get myself right onto those feet and work those legs a little bit more. So you'll have to find the right adjustment. For me, I'm gonna move those feet in even a little more, keeping those heels down. Push onto the chair and see if I can squat right over the chair. So how much you use your arms is up to you. Taking the seat off and then placing it back down. Good. After that, you get a nice relaxing pose. We sit back a little bit more and we just let that upper body fold over like a rag doll, just hanging in our seated forward fold. This is great to release the spine, to release the neck, hanging, relaxing those feet down as low as they'll go. Nice deep breaths here, just 
feeling that traction in and out of the spine, especially the upper spine, and breathing. Good, and carefully digging those sitting bones down again and curling up through the spine like we're stacking each vertebra one by one by one by one. This next one as well is a beautiful stretch. I love this stretch. I'm gonna take my right, I'm gonna scoot forward a little just so I can make sure this foot is anchored. Take my right ankle and try to take my right ankle up on my knee or my thigh. This may be a pretty big stretch for you when you take this foot up. So see how it feels as you're moving that foot upwards. See if you can get right up onto that thigh or that knee. This leg is rotating now naturally at the hip socket. There's no need to push the knee or put any pressure on that knee at all. Just having the hands up by the thighs or upper thighs or hips. And then if you're not feeling enough stretch here, you can fold forward a little bit, still feeling the sitting bones anchored, breathing deeply into your stretches. It's a wonderful stretch, it's one of my all-time favorites. And then of course we come back up and we switch sides, grounding this foot, taking other ankle or foot up on thigh or near to the knee if need be and seeing how this feels. You're going to feel a lot of stretch in the glute and the hip here. That's okay. Just see how much stretch you need. Sitting up tall or if you feel like you need more stretch, you can lean forward and you'll find a little more stretch in hip and glute. Staying with those nice, deep, even, steady breaths. And then placing that foot back down. So we can get into a little bit more advanced standing poses here with the chair because we have the chair available to us for balance. So we'll do a little stretch for the upper body again. Uh, sitting back in the chair so we're a little bit more anchored and grounded and connected to the chair again. Sitting back, taking elbows up at shoulder height. Now you have the option of just squeezing those elbows together and you'll feel that opening and stretching between the shoulder blades. If you bring the elbows up and the hands away, you'll actually feel some stretch over the tops of the shoulders and around the collarbones. If you think you have the flexibility, you are welcome to try and tuck one elbow under the other and then take those arms close, those up, up those upper arms <laughs> closer together. <laughs> So just wrapping those arms if you can. Otherwise, again, just squeezing elbows together is fine. And feeling that stretch. The more the elbows move up and the more the hands move away from the face, the more stretch you'll experience. I try to draw my shoulders and shoulder blades down as well to get even more stretch. If you can wrap those arms, of course, we'll want to try to wrap the other direction, other elbow under. Staying at the level that you need to work at though. If it's just elbow squeezing together, that's fine too. If the hands don't wrap, that's fine too. Elbows up, hands away from face, looking straight forward and drawing those shoulder blades down. Still using those nice, steady, even breaths. Sitting up nice and tall because we always want to check in with our posture and releasing. Just placing those hands and arms down and just feeling that nice relaxation that you found around the shoulders, the collarbones, and the upper back, and taking a few really deep breaths. That concludes part one of our chair yoga series. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. We at Wellness Plus specialize in all things health and wellness ranging from yoga and fitness to massage and ASMR. Whether you are looking to target specific areas of tension or want to enhance your general self-care routine, we provide the tools you need to feel better, look better, and live better. 
We have courses for every level, whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro. Our courses provide a wide range in difficulty to accommodate your evolving flow. Welcome back to Yoga with Jess. We are going to break down some really essential postures. We are going to rock out with some of the most essential ab exercises that you need to have the abs that you've always dreamed of. I've blended techniques to help you connect with students and you can be a rock star teacher. Wellness Plus is available on Amazon, which you can stream from your home on your phone, tablet, or TV. Join Wellness Plus today and get your first seven days free. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.